Hey guys, what's up? I've had a rough day and this is how I'm doing story time. <laughs> hey y'all, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the story time that I've been trying to get up for two weeks, legit. And something bad has been happening every single time. I don't know if this was like a sign that I shouldn't tell this story, but like, I really wanna tell this story. <laughs> there were so many videos that I wanted to do and because of like this whole mishap, if you guys are following me on Instagram, hopefully you guys are, I will leave my socials right here for you guys. Make sure you give your girl a follow so you're up to date with everything that's going on behind the scenes. Um, we did have a little mishap with Mr. David, <laughs> my hubby. I love him so much, but he deleted your girl's footage for like my entire story time. I had a full breakdown, it was a whole thing. So here we are to recreate this. This is the third time that I am filming this story. So for that, give your girl a thumbs up, okay? And so because there was a little bit of a delay in my content, there were so many different videos that I wanted to do. So I decided to kill two birds with one stone and do two different things that I wanted to do. One of which being retelling the story time. But something else that I wanted to do was try out different makeup. Again, famous plug here. But if you guys have been following me on my IG story, you would have seen that I did go on a shopping spree as of recently to update my five plus year makeup collection. All of my makeup was dusty, crusty, and old. So I've been updating my collection and getting some things that I've been looking at for months and months and months, some new things. Um, but today I'm really excited to be trying out a brand that I have looked at kind of sideways ever since it came out. And that is the KKW Beauty brand. Y'all know Kim Kardashian West, y'all know who she is. She does have her own makeup line. I never really partook or bought any of her products because. I didn't know if it was just like, long story short girl, today's story time is gonna be a get ready with me. I really, really do love these story times. I love doing it this way. It makes me feel like I'm just chilling with you. We're doing our makeup together, we're getting ready. So get ready with me girl if you're getting ready for work, if you're getting ready for a hot date, or if you're like me and you're just getting ready to chill at home, okay? That is why I'm looking so crazy. That's why my hair is everywhere. That's why I ain't got no makeup on except for my brows because don't nobody wanna sit here for two hours watching that. I went to Ulta the other day with my mom and there was a whole end cap of KKW Beauty stuff. Ulta is now carrying her line. So I was able to see it in person and swatch things and stuff. But I wanna try out this palette today. I also picked up a few of her lipsticks that I'll be using um, as well as the contour and highlighting stick duo. I ain't even gonna lie, I am very nervous about these because I'm so, so, so picky about like contour especially and like contour creams and concealers. So because of that, I did bring some of my OG backups in case things go a little awry. I got some of her uh, lip liners. I'm gonna be real, some of her eyeliners. Mascara and lip glosses just weren't hitting for me. I tried the mascara in the store with one of those disposable wands and no shade, no tea. I just didn't see anything special, so I did not pick it up. At the end of this video, we'll touch base on what I liked, what I didn't like, why, and of course, as per usual, all of the products that I use will be down in the description box below for you, girl. While I get my hair out of my face, as per usual, we're gonna go over our Glamazon shot of the day. These are my homies, my home skillet biscuits, my do anything for me, my ride for me, no matter what. As most of you guys know, I love giving my my Glamazons a shout out at the beginning of each one of my videos. If you would like your chance to be featured as my Glamazon shout out of the day, make sure you're following my socials. I do pick from Instagram and Twitter. I toggle between the two. Here are my socials again, girl, cause you don't have no excuse, okay? And then I pick randomly on the day of filming and share you with the world. Because I have filmed this video before, I did genuinely pick out my Glamazon shot and I just feel like it's only fair that we go forward with her because like that's legit who I picked. So let's say hello to our Glamazon shot of the day. This is our girl you guys you can find her on twitter rammy xvo i guess her name is wendy she looks so beautiful i love your beanie girl I'm so obsessed with that mustard color right now i've had it on my nails like three thousand times by now thank you so much wendy for watching me and supporting my ass and just coming to chill with me sending me your glamazon shot you guys don't know how much that means to me i really really appreciate you guys you guys know that i would not be here without you and i could not do this without each and every one of you guys so thank you from the bottom of my heart now let's get into the story time girl and fix this situation because <laughs> me running around like this is not cute. Okay, so typically when I'm telling a story, I like to let a few years pass and things to die down before I tell the story. I also like changing up some details because I got some crazy ass Glamazons that, you know, try to stir up some pots and like do the most and be getting involved. So because of that, there will be some things changed in this story. But at the end of the day, I just wanna let you guys know, the reason why I'm telling this story is just because it was genuinely a very awkward experience for myself and my friend, okay, genuinely. I just wanna preface this video with that so you guys understand, as per usual, definitely not trying to start no shit, okay? So just like relax 
and enjoy the story. So as you guys can tell by the title of this video, this story is going to be about my experience and my friend's experience working with another YouTuber. Dun dun dun! If you guys have been with me for a while, y'all know that I have collaborated with other creators before, but never in person because I live in Colorado. And there are other creators here, don't get me wrong, they just typically don't do anything that I do or aren't in the same genre that I'm in. Denver is not like a hub for creators and YouTubers and all of that, okay? Because of that, most of my collaborations have been, you know, online. It'll be one of those situations like, hey, this is one part of the video, and if you wanna see like this other look, go to my girl's page and like support her. I have done amazing collaborations with amazing creators in the past, including He Flawless, I love me some Kenneth, as well as my girl Trinity J, I love her. We kinda came up together, and so she and I did more than one collaboration, I think. Every collaboration that I've had has been really really pleasant I've enjoyed myself and I really would like to collaborate with other creators in person after I have my baby <laughs> this story is gonna be touching based on the one and only time in my entire career here on YouTube that I worked in person with another creator how it went what it was like because y'all know they can't nothing be normal with me, okay? Obviously, I'm telling the story because crazy shit was happening and I wanna tell you all about it. So, no shade, no motherfucking tea. I'm just letting you know right now, even if like we were just sitting chilling in my house and like you my homegirl, my home skillet biscuit for life, I could not and cannot remember this creator's name for the life of me, okay? Like I was literally talking to David the other day and I was like, do you remember this person? And he was like, yeah, I remember you working with this person. And I was like, do you remember her name? And he was like, nah. And like, I was straight up trying to rack my brain. So even if I really wanted to tell y'all, I just, I can't remember. But I remember the experience and that's all that matters. Enough of me babbling on, let's get into the story. This story took place like three, four years ago. It was a while ago. At this time, I was still living in my shitty, shitty apartment. If you guys have been with me for a while, y'all remember the apartment that I was living in. We first started YouTube, and I call it our shitty, shitty apartment because we had a lot of issues, we had a lot of leaks, and it was just a shitty apartment. So around this time when the story took place, I had already been on YouTube for a little while, and I was already starting to like, come up a little bit and I was already starting to tell story times. My climb to 100,000 was really, really fast and I was just like dying. I could not believe it. I was so shocked. I was like, wait, hold up, what? Like, people like my videos, oh my God. And so your girl was just feeling all kinds of blessed. I was on cloud nine to say the least, but I was still working a full-time job at this time and doing YouTube as well. So hold on, let me, let me strategize real fast. In case you guys are wondering, I'm gonna be taking these two colors right here and putting that in my crease. Okay, so again, referring to some of my past story times, you guys know that I used to be all up in the streets all the time and I had a friend, I forgot what I named her, I think I named her Stacy, and she's my friend that I met through David and we've been friends for almost a decade now. She's a fashion designer and a stylist and she started out here in Denver and now she works out of Denver as well as LA. She's doing amazing, she has her own clothing line, she works with celebrities, like I'm so proud of her. During this time, she and I were both like trying to come up on our come up, you know what I'm saying? At this time, I was all about networking. So I was always like being a part of her fashion shows, photo shoots, you know, helping out with like different different designers, local designers, okay? Like I ain't nobody big. I was always going out to these events, to these grand openings, club promotions and stuff like that to meet other photographers, models, designers, and just be a part of that world and be a part of other creative young people. Cause like more than anything, I just wanted to network pretty much. So Stacy kind of put me as her contact if anything fell through, like last minute with models or makeup artists or hairstylists or anything, she knew that she could call me and I would try my best to make it happen. So one night came around and I got a text from my girl Stacy, and she was like kind of low key freaking out and she was basically telling me that she had a really big project coming up it was a really big collaboration for her and that she needed a makeup artist because her makeup artist had a family emergency or something came up last minute and she needed a makeup artist ASAP, okay? Most of you guys know this, I have done makeup on 
photo shoots and runway shows before. I don't consider myself like an artiste by any means, but like I can make you look cute. You know what I'm saying? Super, super last minute as you can imagine. Um, but she was asking me if I was like available and if I had any free time to come help her out. Then she told me that this was a paid gig and that she was gonna get paid for her services. Now, her role in this was gonna be a stylist. That's what I got at this point in the conversation. She told me that she was gonna be styling this person and she needed a makeup artist for like a shoot. I didn't know if it was a video shoot or a photo shoot, it was just a shoot, right? She told me that this was a paid gig. She told me that she was gonna give me like part of her pay, you know, to kind of make it worth my while. And I was like, okay, girl, like no big deal. So of course I was like, yes, girl, you know, I have availability, let's do it. At this point in time, I was like, okay, who are we working with? I'm gonna be the makeup artist, like I need to know who I'm working on or whatever. She was like, it's actually really funny because it's a YouTuber. Wait, what? She tells me this girl's name and I had not heard of her. Like legit had never heard of her in my life. She did have way more subscribers than I did, okay? Like she was like popping, popping on YouTube. My friends start sending me links to her videos. So I start looking at her videos with David on YouTube, right? I'm just gonna say that she does something completely, completely different here on YouTube. I don't know if she's still doing it now, but back then so that was why i'd never heard of her she just seems like a really upbeat like bubbly personality very loud very outgoing that type of thing and she seemed really really nice i totally totally understood why she was so successful on YouTube. Like there was just something about her. I was just getting even more excited to be working with another YouTuber. Like this is crazy, right? After that, my friend texts me over her IG. I like to see how people usually do their makeup. When somebody does their own makeup, and you see it in their photos, you can kind of get a sense of what technique and like what kind of looks they like on themselves. So you're not so way off. So you're making them comfortable throughout the shoot. Does that make sense? So I look at her Instagram page and she's so cute and she has like a cute little style, but I did notice like a little something, something that she was way more sexy, I guess would be the word on her Instagram than I had expected, I guess, because the few videos that I had seen up until this point, she just seemed like very, very bubbly, but her Instagram page was like very va-voom, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, I stalked this girl for like a good three, four hours, I'm not even kidding. My overall consensus of her was that she was fun, she was outgoing, um, and I could totally do her makeup and whatever. So then Stacy and I started talking about like the vibe of the shoot and she starts sending me mood boards and it kind of gives you like a bigger picture type of view of what they're looking for for this shoot. Fran starts sending me these mood boards and she is going for a pretty glamorous style. It's very girly, it's super glam, and it's definitely right up my alley. I was like, hell yeah, I can totally do this. I start getting my makeup kit ready and at this time, I was working really, really hard to try to build up my makeup collection, which was really hard because makeup is expensive as shit. I was already like struggling, so I just remember putting together my makeup kit and kind of freaking out because I felt like, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of felt like nervous and I was like, oh my God, like this is a big YouTuber and I don't have like the fanciest of stuff. Like what if she hates my products? Like what if she doesn't like it or whatever? So I ended up going to Ulta and I remember that a palette had just dropped. I don't remember what palette, but it was like this huge thing. Y'all know how it is, right? When a new product drops. You know, it's a palette, it's like 45 to like 60 bucks depending, which was a lot for me, okay? But I went to Ulta and I picked up this palette anyway because I just wanted to impress this girl and I wanted her to be happy and I wanted her to like feel like she was in good hands. You know what I'm saying? Needless to say, I was muy muy excited and I get everything ready. And like I said, this was gonna be like a day or two later. Like it wasn't a whole lot of time. Just remember that we had to get up at the ass crack of dawn. Day comes around, I get up at the ass crack of dawn, I make my coffee. Of course, anytime I was like doing somebody's makeup, I wanted to look profesh, so I did like the whole all black thing. Get in my car, drive all the way downtown, and this was like a really beautiful hotel that we were gonna be working out of. As you can imagine, I mean, usually, when you go downtown anywhere, the parking is shit. It's like terrible, right? So I knew that I was gonna have issues with parking, which I did. 
I remember having to like drive around and around to find parking, but I finally found a spot near the front of the hotel. Stacy was like not too far behind me. She showed up like five, 10 minutes later and she happened to get a parking spot like two spots down from me. So we got really lucky. I ended up meeting Stacy out on the sidewalk, right? And I have my makeup kit and everything. And she was like, hey girl, you know, I'm glad you found a good parking. Can you help me with some of the pieces that are in the backseat of my car? And she was meaning like the clothing pieces because she's a stylist, right? Kit was like a caboodle. So I had like a lot of arm space. So I was like, yeah, girl, I got you. So we walked down to her car and you know, she opens her back door and she leans over and she starts handing me pieces of, you know, wardrobe pretty much, right? She starts handing me things and I just can't help but notice that there's not a whole lot of garment on this hanger, okay? It's like the most, doing the most, lingerie I had ever seen in my life. Everything from like fur trim stuff to like the leather corset, G-string and the fishnet stocking, like the whole thing, okay? Let me explain why this was a little bit weird and like out of the ordinary, okay? My friend Stacy had her own clothing line, as I keep saying, and her clothing line was very urban, like streetwear, and also her way of styling as a stylist was pretty similar. Like she has styled rappers, she has styled like R&B singers, and that's just kind of always the route that she would take was like the urban streetwear type of vibe, right? I was not aware that this was like such a sexy shoe. Y'all know me, okay? Y'all know that I can't control myself, so I start like everything that she's passing me, I'm like, oh, wow. Ooh, you know, like I'm like making all these sound effects and she was like, Nikki, I know. So finally, you know, she gets to the end and I'm holding all of this lingerie and she has some of it in her hand and we start walking together to the front of the hotel, right? On the walk over, I'm like sitting there looking at her like, um, so do you want to tell me a little bit more about this shoot before we go in there? Because I had no idea that this was like, a lingerie shoot, like a boudoir shoot, right? Like I had no idea. She starts spilling all the tea, right? And she was like, Nikki, I know, like this is catching me so off guard, like I had no idea. And I was like, what do you mean, what happened? And she was like, okay, so the way that it would work, if you like hired my friend for her services and you said, hey, I have this shoot or whatever and I want you to style me. She would say, okay, do you have like a preferred place that you like to shop or like, do you want me to style you from your closet or whatever, right? Most people either want to be styled with her designs or they wanna go shopping with her and have her pick out the pieces. She gave this creator the option, you know, what does she wanna do, how she wanted to proceed with finding wardrobe for this shoot. And this YouTuber told her that she was only gonna be in town for a few days and she wanted to meet up with Stacy to go shopping. So, you know, no big deal. Stacy was like, okay, cool. So Stacy starts breaking it down for me. I like, you know, scheduled some time to go out with her and like hit up some different stores and get the looks that she was looking for for the shoot and I was like okay she goes you know we hit up the huge spots like Macy's Nordstrom she was like and like nothing was hitting right she really wasn't interested in seeing some of the looks that I had put together based on what she was telling me over the phone that she wanted the shoot to be about she was like to be real she was saying no to everything that I was suggesting so finally I put the ball in her court and was like, hey, where do you see yourself? Like, where do you wanna go to get your wardrobe? She was like, I know the perfect spot. It's like one and done. We in and out of there. We can find all of the pieces there. Follow me. So Stacy had gotten in her car and followed this YouTuber. <laughs> She was like, and girl, all of a sudden, I'm at a sex store. Girl, I was so confused, but like, I don't wanna seem unprofessional. She was like, so I get out of the car and I meet her inside, and all of a sudden, I'm helping her pick out lingerie, and like, I had no idea. So the whole way up to the hotel, you know, she's spilling the tea and like telling me what had happened, and she was like, so that's why I didn't tell you, like, I didn't text you telling you that it was a lingerie shoot because I didn't even know until like yesterday, and I was like, Oh, at this point we're walking into the front of the hotel together, right? And we're walking in and like I said, this is like a beautiful historical hotel, downtown Denver. And needless to say, the patrons um, were very bouge, had a lot of money. Well, I just want you to imagine that we're two young girls, me and my friend, and we're walking through the front of a nice ass hotel with a bunch of lingerie 
in our hands, okay? There was no garment bags over these things. It was just there, just all the G-strings, all the corsets, girl, all the glitter, all the sequin, all the everything. So we're walking in looking like we got another job. We got so many crazy looks. We got like crazy looks from like dudes and their wives, you know what I'm saying? Because they basically think that we're like hookers or like that we're just like coming in the hotel to work, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know any of the details about like the hotel room, only Stacy knew that. So I was basically following her lead. The minute we walked inside the hotel, I was like looking at her like, okay, tell me where we need to go, like I'ma follow you. We get into the hotel and she presses, you know, the floor number in the elevator with a couple. And it's like this older guy and lady and they're probably in their 50s and you guys, the wife was giving us such dirty looks and there was like mirror inside of the elevator so I could see her just like glaring at me and Stacy and like looking at what was in our hands and like she kept looking over at her husband like you better not be looking over there and I was like, <laughs> don't nobody want your old ass husband. It. okay relax get off the elevator and again i'm looking over at stacy like okay like are we going left are we going right like where's the hotel room right she stops out of nowhere and she's like looking at her phone and i'm like okay maybe she's getting an update like whatever so we wait there for a second and finally she was like you know what let's just go wait over here real fast and she was pointing over to like this balcony area every floor had like this balcony where you could look over and see the main area of the hotel down below it was a huge beautiful hotel but in this hallway there was nowhere to sit there were no benches there was no nothing so i was really confused like why are we having to stand right here we just need to go to the hotel room but i was like whatever so we go over there and i'm just like holding all the lingerie and stuff and i'm looking at stacy like is everything okay he was like yeah they just need a little bit more time to like prepare the room and they'll text me when they're ready okay you know i get it sometimes things run over sometimes things don't go as planned and they just need a little bit more time to get everything situated and then they'll call us in, no big deal. So we just start, you know, talking and, you know, talking about other projects that we had and other shows and our mutual friends or whatever, just shooting the shit. Meanwhile, time is just a ticking and, you know, we're just sitting there, you know, trying to pass the time and waiting for this text message to give us the okay that we can go in the hotel room. Five minutes passes, five minutes turns into 10, 10 turns into 20, 20 turns into 30. Girl, all of a sudden I look up, like 50 minutes had passed. It had been almost an hour. And like I said, there was nowhere to sit out here. There was nowhere to put our stuff. By this point, I had put my makeup collection on the floor and like tried to put some of the lingerie over it because your girl just got tired of standing there holding all the shit. Y'all, I really be trying not to be difficult. I really try not to like cause a scene if I can help it. But when it comes to stuff like this, like I just wanna know, here was my issue, okay? I had to wake up at the ass crack of dawn for this. I had to battle traffic for this. I had to find some parking downtown for this shit. And you told me to be here at this time and like 20, 30 minutes, fine. Like I could see that if you really running behind, but almost an hour, you got my ass out here with my friend for almost an hour with nowhere to sit and just like in this hotel hallway, like in the middle of just like looking all kinds of crazy. You guys, there are people coming out of their hotel rooms and here we are just standing out there with all this lingerie and like everybody's just looking at us all crazy and I'm like, what the fuck? Okay, at some point you gotta be like, time is money. My time is valuable. So like, what the hell is going on? You guys, all this time, Stacy is so nice. She's so nice and she never wants to rock the boat and so she had not texted and I was like just text her team and like ask if they're ready and she was like no you know they said that they would reach out to me I, I was like whatever Stacy you're busy too I'm busy y'all this was my Saturday some sort of plans with the boys we were wanting to take Joy in somewhere and so I had told David oh this shouldn't take that long they didn't want us to stay on set for like touch-ups or anything I always ask and they said no they just needed us to do the initial work and then we could leave so I had the rest of my Saturday planned out with my boys and this was cutting into that so like I was getting real agitated okay I'm like girl you just need to text them and like see what's up and like get an update like that's all you're asking for is an update you guys we went round and round and round at that point I was like it's been over an hour text them and she was like okay fine so she finally texts and she was like hey you know just checking in like are you guys ready for myself and the, my makeup artist to come up or whatever just let me know 
and you guys like another 15 minutes passed i was getting so impatient and i was like dude i will leave like i'm not even kidding this is so unprofessional regardless of who it is i don't care if this is like a youtuber with 16 thousand million trillion subscribers you just don't treat somebody like this you just don't have you know makeup artists and hairstylists and pe like your team you know that you have hired just standing out there without any direction and you had them come this early like what the fuck i love you and everything and i really want to support you but this is some bullshit finally finally this guy because it was a guy you know that was a part of this youtuber's team he finally texted stacy back and was like oh yeah you guys can go ahead and come on over i was like what you mean can go ahead and come on over like this ain't no big deal bitch i've been waiting here for over an hour for your ass what you mean like you could at least be like i am so sorry for the wait i apologize for the delay like be a little bit professional can you finally get the okay and you guys i am i'm like talking so much shit and i'm like oh my god do we get entrance like finally oh my god us little peasants we finally get entrance oh my god that is so great and you know like i'm just being a smart ass and stacy was like okay nikki like i get it and i was like dude don't be letting people like treat your time like this i felt like my friend was super nice and i just did not like people taking advantage of that we're like three doors away from this hotel room this entire time so we go over there and we knock on the door and this guy, I'm guessing the same guy that was texting Stacy, he opens the door. And you guys, he straight up opens the door and he was like, yeah? <laughs> what you mean, yeah? Like, why are you acting like you're not expecting somebody? Why are you acting like, oh my God, okay. So there's Stacy. Hey, um, I'm Stacy. We met before. This is my makeup artist, Nikki. You know, we're here to work on so-and-so. And he was like, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, come on in. He done forgot in the last five seconds who he was expecting and it turns out that it's not even a hotel room it is a hotel suite okay and if y'all don't know the difference let me explain it and break it down break it down it basically has like a small living room and then you have the room off to the side but it's more like a mini apartment so we walk in we see that it is a suite and there is a living room area and that living room area has like a bunch of balloons and it's like decorated. So it was clear to me that this shoot, I wasn't even sure if it was like a photo shoot or a video shoot, but this shoot was gonna be taking place inside of this suite. Like nobody was leaving. This is where it was gonna be taking place. So they had that whole area decorated, right? They have like this huge like lounge couch in there or whatever. And like they have like this little kitchenette and it's him and then it's this pregnant girl. She was like really pregnant. She was like seven to eight months pregnant, right? So she's like in the corner and they're the only ones in there. And you guys, I couldn't help but feel insulted. I was like, hold up, like y'all had all this room away from you know the creator away from the youtuber we wouldn't have even been in her way and like we could have at least had a place to put our things or whatever until she was ready and like y'all just had us waiting out there like with all of our shit with nowhere to sit and like oh my god i don't know why it just set me off i was like that is so rude we're standing in that living room area and off to the side there are like these double doors and it's it's clear that through those double doors is the room right so those double doors are closed i'm really big into coffee especially back then when i was working in offices still i was drinking upwards of like three to four cups a day girl like that, that's how i would get through my whole life caffeine was essential for me to operate and i had asked stacy like should i stop at starbucks before meeting up with you i'll pick stuff up and she was like nah girl they're gonna provide coffee there like they told me this don't worry about it they're gonna be providing it for us like let's just get this morning started i need my caffeine so i start looking around and i'm like does anybody have coffee i went ahead and asked that dude that opened the door for us i asked him i was like hey do you guys have any coffee? Like it doesn't have to be Starbucks. You know how they usually have like the coffee pot with the, you know, the like the little coffee packets in the rooms? Like that's what I was looking for. I was like, you know, do you guys have any coffee, any caffeine, anything that I can use, right? He had an attitude like I did something wrong. And he looked at me and he was like, why would we have coffee for you? And I was like, hold up. Immediately I look over at Stacy. like number one, did you just hear this guy's tone? And number two, 
didn't you tell me that they were gonna have coffee here? And you guys know me, I cannot be talked to like that without going off. Casey like kind of looks shocked and I'm like, oh, uh-uh. So I looked at him and I was like, obviously I'm asking because I was told that there was gonna be coffee here. If there's not, that's no big deal, but you don't need to be talking to me that way. I was like, there's a Starbucks right down the street. I can go there and pick up Starbucks for everybody, but I was just asking if you guys had coffee here. If the answer is no, that's fine. I was like, is she ready to get her makeup done? And he was like, no, not yet. And I was like, okay, I'm just gonna make a quick trip to Starbucks because I need a minute. Like I'm fuck, I'm getting pissed. Like I don't like this, I don't like the vibe, I don't like you. Like all this conversation's being had, all of a sudden those double doors off to the left, they open up and this other guy comes out and he's like this blonde guy. He comes out and he has a camera in his hand. So I immediately, I'm like, okay, he's the videographer, he's the photographer, like something along those lines. He is so nice, you guys. He is like so sweet and so nice. Call him Brad. He was like, my name's Brad. You guys must be like the makeup artist and stuff. And I was like, yeah, you know, my name's Nikki. I'm the makeup artist. This is my girl, Stacy. You know, she's the stylist for today. And he was like, oh, awesome. Like, it's so good to have you guys here. He was the one who who asked, can I get you guys anything? You know, do you guys need anything before we get started? And so of course I pipe up and I was like, actually, yeah. You know, I was like, thank you so much for asking. And you know, I keep looking over at that other dude like, this is how you act. This is how you conduct business. This is how you remain professional. Like, this is how the fuck you do it. I don't know who you are, but now I'm gonna start talking to Brad because Brad knows how to act, okay? I was about to make a Starbucks run. Would you like anything? He was like, you don't have to do that. Like, you're gonna have to go ahead and set up here in a few minutes. He was like, I will go do that. You know, he was like, everybody give me their Starbucks order. I will go downstairs and get it real fast and be right back. And I was like, oh my God, Brad, thank you so much, you know? <laughs> Brad, the homie, comes through and offers to get everybody coffee and my attitude immediately changed all right I got my eyeliner and eyelashes done off camera because ain't nobody trying to sit here forever in a day back to the story at this point I had not met a girl yet oh girl meaning the youtuber so let's give her a name because I haven't given her a name yet um we're gonna name her Amy okay just like something quick it kind of fits her so whatever we're gonna go with that so um I wait in the living room area for about another 10 minutes finally I'm told by Brad is that what I named him Yes, told by him that they're ready for us to go ahead and go into the room and start setting up. At this point, you guys, my heart starts beating real fast because I'm finally gonna be like laying eyes on Amy and like, I don't know, just like being in her presence. I don't know why I was so nervous, but I was, your girl was nervous. I'm not even gonna lie. They open the double doors. She's like nowhere to be found. She's not even in the room. She's in the bathroom. So I'm like, <laughs> for no reason. Casey starts laying out the different lingerie pieces on the bed. The bathroom door wasn't closed. It was like cracked but like I didn't know if she was like decent. I didn't know if I was good to go in there. So I'm like kind of looking around and you guys remember that pregnant girl that I mentioned earlier. I don't know for sure. I don't know if she was like designing the living room area or like what her role was, but she was there and she was a part of their team. So she was like, oh yeah, girl, she's already ready. Go ahead and go in there. And I was like, oh, okay. Knock gently on the door. She's like, come on in. And I'm like, oh, okay. Now, of course my heart starts beating off fast. So I opened the door and there she is and she's sitting on this stool in front of the sink and she's like on her phone, right? And she doesn't even look up. She just says, hey girl, you can set up right here. And she points to the counter and there's like this huge counter that I can put out all my makeup on. So down to business, okay, cool. Like I'm not trying to fangirl, make her feel weird, so whatever. She's in like a super cute lace robe and she had her hair up in like these pin curls. I'm just gonna go through, ooh, this seems kind of light. So I start laying everything out and meanwhile, Amy's still on her phone. I keep like looking at her, but I don't want to stare at her, but I'm just like really shocked that I'm even here and like I'm working with her and she looks exactly how she did in her videos. I don't know what I was expecting. Y'all, I just got all of this in my hair. Before I get started on her makeup, she like gets up and she has her phone in her hand and on one side of the bathroom, there's like this floor to ceiling mirror. It's like this huge mirror and she goes and she stands in front of that mirror and she has her phone out like this, right? So she gets on her snap and she starts talking, you know, to her her audience and I'm like kind of like in the background you know she's like hey guys you know I'm working on this really exciting project for y'all I can't wait for you guys to see it and like I'll show you guys some sneak peeks or whatever and she starts like showing her robe and she was like you know this is what I'm looking like I'm getting hair and makeup done right now and then she was like makeup artist just arrived so we're finally gonna get started and everything in me was like nah girl I did not just arrive but whatever doing her thing and I already knew like 
how that works. You know, I've done that. I walk around talking to you guys on my phone or whatever, ready to get her makeup done. Just side note, my friend Stacy did not tell any of these people that I was on YouTube, that I was doing, like that I was a creator, none of that. If you guys know anything about me and have been with me for a while, I just, I get a little awkward about stuff like that because I don't ever want to come off as like, I don't know, weird. In a nutshell, nobody knew that I myself was on YouTube, right? Anyways, we start talking. Oh, you guys, I am so nervous to use these sticks. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, especially for concealer. <laughs> oh, let's hope this works out. This is where I start really seeing her true personality and things kind of started going a little left. So she starts telling me about her career, you know, being on YouTube and she had made a lot of money already. She had just recently gotten her boobs done. She was super proud of them. They were really cute. I ain't even gonna lie. This is like blending in with my foundation. This is not gonna work. Okay, so good thing we have backups. No big deal, no big deal. Don't freak out. <laughs> so she starts telling me, you know, about her experience. And I don't know if it was just the way that she was wording it that I kind of was like, it just wasn't sitting well with me but she kept saying someone like you would never understand like she kept saying stuff like that like oh and like the pregnant girl she kept coming in and out and like stacy would come in and out and so she would be like you know you guys could never understand you know the pressure that you feel being on a platform like this and having so many people scrutinize you and give their unsolicited opinions and it's just it really takes a special person and like not everybody's cut out for it honestly like you guys don't even know like you wouldn't even be able to handle it right my friend stacy she kept looking over at me like oh bitch like you don't understand nikki it's just so hard to be in her position and like all this and all that she just kept harping on that over and over and over right i don't know what to do with all of this success and like it was just very much about Amy and that was exactly the way that I did not and do not ever want to come off to anybody like it just made me feel and everybody else feel like she felt as though she was better than everybody and I genuinely feel like this bitch she really thought she was better than everybody anyways I hear her whole spiel and we get her makeup done. She looks so cute, if I do say so myself. Let's her rollers out, like her little pin curls, and she looks so good, you guys. Like, I was like, damn girl, we did that. So she like looked like a bombshell, sexy, like Victoria's Secret angel, okay? Stacy has everything laid out on the bed for her, and they start, you know, deciding which lingerie piece she's gonna be wearing first. So she ended up putting on this pink number, and it had like the fur trim on it, and it had like, you know, the G-string with like some sequins and it was a very beautiful lingerie set, okay? And like I said, she had just gotten her tetas done. So like she was looking hella cute and like really sexy and very just, girl, she was doing the damn thing, okay? I'm in the middle of packing up my kit at this point. And all of a sudden, remember how I told you guys that I had gotten that palette specifically for this whole project because I just, I didn't want to come off as like, I didn't have shit, you know? It's sitting on the counter and all of a sudden that pregnant girl comes up and I'm like in the middle of packing my stuff and she picks up the palette and she was like, oh my God, this is that new one that just came out. And I was like, yeah, girl. And she was like, oh my God, how do you like it? And I was like, well, you know, I just used it today on her and like, I love it. And I think it was like really great and the formula is great and all of that. And she goes, oh my God. And she's like looking at the palette and it's like one of those, it was like a bigger palette. God, I, I forget which one it was. She's like looking at the palette and she's like, you know, just gushing over it. And you guys, this bitch takes her finger and legit starts like really digging into my colors and just swatching them all over her arm. Going at it, okay? Like going at it. Look, look, look. I don't wanna play that. You guys, I was like dying on the inside and I did not know what to do. Everything in me wanted to look at her and be like, bitch, get your fingers out of my palette. I don't know where your hands have been. I don't know the last time you washed your hands. Y'all, everything is disposable if I can help it. And I had like the sanitization, like the alcohol spray to like sanitize my brushes right after using them. Like I'm that one. So for this bitch to be like, oh, let me see. 
you know, oh my god, that is so pretty. And she's like mixing the colors, and I was like, oh my god, bitch, if you don't stop, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna take that because. You were about to ruin my shit. Like, stop, right? Okay, let's hope that this goes well. I'm very nervous about this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I get my kit all packed up, right? And like I said, that mirror is like right next to me, that full length mirror. While I'm packing up my stuff and dealing with old girl, old pregnant girl digging into my shit, out of the corner of my eye, I see Amy walk into the bathroom and she stops at that mirror. And she has on the lingerie but she also has the robe over it, right? She gets onto her Snapchat and she starts showing, you know, her outfit and like, oh my God, you guys, like look at this lingerie and blah, blah, blah. And the way that she's talking, I started really getting the picture really fast that most of her audience had to be dudes, like had to be. She does that snap, right? And I'm still like packing up my stuff and I'm like, okay, whatever. And she gets on her snap again and she's like, hey, you guys, I'm gonna be doing something special for you guys. I want you all to subscribe to my channel. The next 10 people that subscribe to my channel will get a personalized special message from me. So hurry up, right? That was actually genius to me. I was like, oh my God, like, you know, you're giving them an incentive to subscribe to your channel. Like this is how you've been able to like get so many subscribers so little time like that's great you know like personalized messages like that's so genius now let me blend out my nose contour for before i get into this because i cannot be getting crazy hold up oh well, this is pretty i like the way that this blended out this actually was not bad at all at first she was standing at this point i guess she's like now it's time for her to get her special message filmed i guess and so she sat down Y'all, when I tell you this shit caught me so off guard, hold up. All of a sudden, this bitch squats down, okay? And she sits down on the floor and she like opens her legs, kind of like, kind of like, I'm gonna try to do this stuff falling, like this, okay? Like one leg here, one leg here. <laughs> she gets back on snap and she like, she's sitting there and she starts recording. And I can see, because I'm standing behind her, I can see what's on her screen, okay? So she starts recording and she's like going down her body and she like zooms in on her boobs and then she keeps going down and I'm like, okay, like you really feeling yourself, you feeling cute, like do you? Yes, girl, go off. And then she like continues to go down her body and is like showing the lingerie and then she gets to her, um her chonch and she takes her hand and she puts it on herself and y'all she starts <laughs> this girl straight up just started feeling on her chonch right in front of me right in front of everybody okay and not just like feeling on herself but like doing the most and like moaning and shit and like uh, and like oh my god uh. zooming in right there just like really just go just going at it because she was rubbing you know what I'm saying like it's just a little bit of fabric that's covering her chonch and so when she starts rubbing like things start moving and popping out and so I saw like lips I saw I saw everything and she's like just <laughs> bitch what the fuck freaking bathroom door is still open so like Stacy my friend is like in the room and she's like doing her thing and y'all straight up she had a oop moment like oop and like she saw it and she was like oh shit and like was like oh huh. she looked at me and she was like what the fuck and I was like girl I'm just getting all my stuff together I don't have time for this like i don't i'm not trying to see all of this personalized message to these people that subscribe to her channel like is she just gonna keep doing this over and over or what nah girl she did not she just filmed it that once and then sent it to those 10 people so like in all actuality it wasn't personalized she just sent the same video to all of them and like how are they gonna know like who is gonna cross check that you know what i'm saying i need to go and give you your space because I'm not trying to just like be in the background while you're doing this shit to yourself. You know what I'm saying? And I started putting the pieces together like, oh, this is how she has like gained so many of her subscribers so fast. And like y'all to each their own. But like, I just, I guess I just never considered it. I didn't even like think about it. Like I just, 
it just caught me off guard. Time goes on, Stacy and I keep looking at each other sideways like, okay. Um, and I keep looking at her like, are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? Because like, I'm getting ready to go at this point. I'm going to be doing this lower lash line so it doesn't look so naked. As if that experience wasn't awkward enough. The icing and the cherry on top of it all, girl. When I got home from this actual shoot, I just like dropped my stuff off and left with the boys. Because like I said, I had plans. I didn't end up going through my kit and like putting things away for like another day or two. When I did, when I started unpacking my kit and like putting all of my makeup away, I just so happened to notice that my palette, you know the palette that I kept mentioning throughout this entire video, mm -hmm, magically disappeared. I specifically, because old pregnant girl was like digging her fingers into it and trying to swatch it, I specifically remember her putting it down and me being like, nah, bitch, I'm gonna have to like disinfect the, the pans and like spray it with alcohol or whatever. And I remember putting that shit into my kit and I get home and it's nowhere to be found. I don't know if it was Amy. I don't know if it was her pregnant friend. I have no idea. But what I do know is that I magically left that shoot and my palette was nowhere to be found. Never saw it again. So one of them bitches got a free palette out of me and I didn't even get paid and I got to see this YouTuber just like go at herself and fondle herself right in front of me. So yeah, it was an awkward ass experience, okay? Okay, so this is the finished look. I'm feeling it, I am feeling it. That is the story of my experience working with another YouTuber in person. No, she did not know that I was a YouTuber. She had no idea like that I was even a creator at that time. It was awkward, it was weird, and it was just all together like probably the weirdest experience that I ever had doing someone's makeup and just being in that position. That is my story. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you're always notified every time I upload here on my channel. Just wanna go over some of the new products that I use that I love, 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 and also which of the KKW products I loved as well and which ones I wasn't feeling. So um, if you guys couldn't already guess already, I the only one that I really was not feeling was the medium high highlighter maybe I just got the wrong color I don't know I just it didn't seem to blend out okay and it just didn't really cover anything and I know it's supposed to just like highlight areas but even when I was trying to like highlight my forehead it just really didn't work for me the other side is supposed to be like a shimmery highlighter but I just I don't know I just don't think I mean I guess that could be pretty it's very subtle look I don't know, I just don't feel like I'm gonna be grabbing for it a whole lot, so this definitely was not my jam. Now, what was my jam was her contour stick. This stuff actually blended out really, really, really well. You guys saw it, um, but it's like really seamless. It blends out beautifully. Okay, let's talk about this palette real fast. I love it, okay, I really, really do. I'm gonna be honest, it took me having to build this color up for it to be nice and intense. And this is the color that I put down the center to kind of brighten it up a bit. These are the colors that I put into my crease. And then this is the color that I used to deepen it up. I really, really loved working with this palette. I'm actually excited to use more of like this color Crater of Hecla more. And as well as this Gold Volcanic Haze. I'm really excited to use that as well. Um, I tend to go for more coppery, like warmer, like orangey colors anyway in my everyday life. So I felt like this palette was right up my alley and I was right. So I hope you guys enjoyed the look that I created with it. Um, I know so many people have been loving this palette. Add me to that list. I really, really enjoyed it. Her lipstick is amazing. Um, if you guys are looking for a really good nude, you should probably check out her line. She has different types of nude. My favorite right now is the nude two, which is what I'm using today. It looks like this. She has a wide spectrum of nudes that go into like a deeper colors like this that I picked up. This is the nude eight so this is the darkest color that she has within her nude lipstick line and so I'm gonna be using that for more like of a fall deeper type of look but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys enjoyed this look I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me don't forget to subscribe and join me for new videos coming soon here as well as the glamour family channel as per usual, I will leave everything that I used in this video down in the description box for you guys below I love you guys so so much and I will see you guys very soon in my next video peace out.